Hi. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Cameo, which allows public figures to sell personalized shout-out videos to fans, acquires Represent, which enables creators to design and sell customized merchandise via personal storefronts with no upfront costs, terms undisclosed, Cameo said it might offer merch bundles with videos included. News source, TechCrunch, digital physical therapy firm Hinge Health raises $400 million at a $6.2 billion valuation led by Coachu and Tiger Global, investors last valued the firm at $3 billion in January, the company provides motion tracking sensors and software enabling people to do physical therapy sessions at home. News source, Bloomberg. Early-stage VC firm NFX raises a $450 million fund to continue investing in gaming startups, but with a focus on blockchain-based titles and game-centric NFT tech, the firm's portfolio includes NFT gaming company Monkey Ball, Israeli gaming startup Bladega, and TX-based tournament gaming company Papaya Gaming. News source, VentureBeat Luxury NFT marketplace Nuno and the iconic Italian streetwear brand Diesel partner together on the first Diesel NFT wearable. To mark the launch of the new Diesel prototype style, first presented as part of the spring-summer 22 collection designed by Diesel's creative director, Glenn Martins, the brand has partnered with Nuno.io to recreate the sneaker as a non-fungible token NFT, which was gifted to all attendees of Nuno's talk at NFT. NYC Today Diesel's prototype NFT it is part of a global initiative to introduce a unique design that will soon be available also physically worldwide. All audience members who sign up to Nuno.io via the QR code share during the talk were the first to receive the Diesel NFT of the prototype sneaker model. It's also possible to try a pair on digitally via the R functionality on Nuno.io's website or via a dedicated Snapchat's lens, all powered by RVTO's technology. The final news is that Microsoft is entering the race to build a metaverse inside Teams, just days after Facebook rebranded to Meta in a push to build virtual spaces for both consumers and businesses. Microsoft is bringing Mesh, a collaborative platform for virtual experiences, directly into Microsoft Teams next year. It's part of a big effort to combine the company's mixed reality and HoloLens work with meetings and video calls that anyone can participate in thanks to animated avatars. Microsoft Teams will get new 3D avatars in a push toward a metaverse environment, and you won't need to put a VR headset on to use them. These avatars can literally represent you both in 2D and 3D meetings, so you can choose to have an animated version of yourself if you're not feeling like turning your webcam on. Teams is able to interpret your vocal cues to animate that avatar, so it does feel present and it does feel like it's there with you. Microsoft will use AI to listen to your voice and then animate your avatar. If you switch to a more immersive 3D meeting, then these animations will also include raising your avatar's hands when you hit the raise hand option or animate emoji around your avatar. Microsoft Teams will be able to start to use these virtual spaces and avatars in the first half of 2022. News Source, The Verge, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion. Go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to subscribe.